Verizon wants to buy Yahoo, Snapchat gets a redesign, Google has a new video app for iOS, and more. It's Tuesday, June 7th, and this is Crunch Report. Word on the street is that Verizon, aka TechCrunch's corporate overlord, may be getting closer to buying Yahoo's main internet assets. Verizon reportedly wants to make a $3 billion second round bid for Yahoo, which is lower than the $4 billion to $8 billion bids Yahoo's internet business received during the initial bid cycle. Verizon is expected to make its offer next week. Meanwhile, Snapchat has redesigned its stories page to combine the best of social networks, magazines, and television. The new design lets publishers include an image and headline to promote each day's story. You can also now subscribe to publisher channels. Be sure to check out Josh Constein's piece for the full product walkthrough. Google launched a new iOS app today called Motion Stills. It works by taking your existing iOS live photos and stabilizes them so you can turn them into GIFs and video clips. As TechCrunch's Greg Kumparik writes, the app makes your iOS live photos less shaky and more awesome. Speaking of making things better, Twitter has made it easier for developers to embed multiple timelines into their web apps or content management systems. Twitter has added three ways to make it easier, but the simplest one is to opt for the publish.twitter.com approach. That lets you customize an embedded timeline into a site with very minimal coding skills. Now, let's face it, the tech industry is not as diverse and inclusive as it could be. Good for POC is launching today to provide a list of safe and inclusive tech companies for people of color to work at. I'd recommend checking it out if you're a person of color looking for a new tech gig. That's the report for today. I'm Megan Rose Dickey. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. See you tomorrow.